Zoom Diallo is one, I would say, nice, a hooper. Funny. Sure, I'm a lot of words. It depends who I'm with. You know, I can change it up, this and that. So I would just say, you know, I'm just Zoom. Zoom, you know, I like you like me. My full name is Bazumana Diallo. Diallo, class of 2024. And I got that from my grandpa on my mom's side. And with the meaning for it, it means like leader, king. So I really withhold that name and stuff. So people do call me Zoom, but like, who I really am is Bazumana. So when I was little, uh, people couldn't say Bazumana. So then my brothers, they came up with a nickname because if you say Bazumana, Zoom's in there. So then my brother just started calling me Zoom and then people couldn't say it. So he's like, just call him Zoom. So then ever since then, I've just been going by Zoom. I play for Elite Sports Academy Under Armour Circuit. Hey, look at the score. We're gonna outdo that. They're not scoring 15 because we gave them about 10 points they don't deserve, right? Come on, let's go. Come on. Work on three. One, two, three. Work. Let's go. Shoot when you're supposed to shoot. Hey, y'all remember free throw? The high, there's a high screen right there, and then you go through. Y'all just stay in the end. I mean the corners. You know what we're doing. You're just in the high ball screen, and then he's up top. Yeah. I've been there since sixth grade. Been playing six, seven, sixth grade. I played up most of my years at AAU. I played up so eighth grade. I played my year, and then my ninth grade summer. I ended up playing up 16U, and then right now I'm playing 17. Sacrifice, you know, going up there, going to the gym. Hey, man, you know, it's another day today, man. You know, I just want to say I'm really proud of this little man right here. Rosamundo Diallo, at Dreadmont Bone. Don't forget that. So keep that in mind. That's the worst from Big Bro. You know, I got a little pizza, a little beef, a little gluten free pizza. You know, I got to eat healthy. You already know the deal. Yes, sir. It's a lab. Yeah, I was doing, I had a little nap, you know, from school. I had early release. Came from school, nap, did a little bit of homework. I tried to, you know, fix my bed a little bit with a bed frame, but it didn't work. So, a little struggle with my brother. So, now you know I gotta get back in the gym. So, that's what we're going to. Buy me a horse at this point. I promise you, because this, this, it don't make no sense, man. It really don't. Gas prices is crazy. It's over here just going like six. Next year, gonna be seven. Finna get electric cars. Just, just like this too with these gas See, prices. he knows. He's smart. He's smart with he, it. He's thinking ahead. You got your water or no? 
but there's some with this pizza from Costco. I don't know. It just be hit. I know it look a little, you know, hard, because you know I left it in the oven a bit too long, but I'm still gonna eat it. You feel me? In the season, I practice every day after school. We got film on who we was gonna play. Have practice, and after that, you know, some dudes, you know, they want to go home, you know, chill. But you know, I had a goal. I was trying to get better, you know, win that state title. So I took the sacrifice, like no cap. Like the gym is my best friend. Like I'm saying, I, I have some friends, but you know, I don't really hang out with my friends because, like, the gym was my friend. So. I remember like this ride's gonna be long, but I used to do this shit every day with my guy P. I started like training for real, and then I started seeing results. So then I was like, man, this is fun. Like I used to wake up early. Me and my brother we used to go to Piala Rec Center. He used to work out for hours. And my guy Taki, you feel me? You've talking, you finna see that. You already know it did, you feel me? He was out there, you know, grinding with my guy P every day. And I really liked it for sure. Like I fell in love with it. See, I drive. I don't got my license per se, but you know, I, I can drive, you feel me? So if I need to go to the gym, or just, you know, ask someone, my parents, my brothers, they take me. But once I get my license, it's wraps. I live in Tacoma, so it's like about an hour, depending on track, it could be an hour 30, and I'm not gonna lie, hour 20. But I really go to that gym, cause like the resources they got there, like, you know, they got shooting machines, Vertimax, all types of resources, ball racks, all types of, and my guy P works up there. And I've been working with him since second grade. So, you know, I just continue to work with him. So I just go up there, you know, get my work in. So don't get it twisted. I still, I be at the Y. Everybody know I still be at the Y. But like, truly trying to get better this summer, like, most definitely, you know, sometimes you gotta separate yourself. So, going to the gym, by myself, you know, with the I used to spend the night over there, and then I used to wake up in the morning, come here, get shots before games. They have a prep house for all the out-of-state prep kids. And I was staying in that room. Uh, what? Right here. 7 a.m. So I was in there. Then come back. I was even having begging my mom, like, Mom, can I spend a night? Because, you know, mamas don't want you to leave. This is where I used to stay. I used to bring all my homework. And then I used to stay and wake up, do online class. Like, you feel me? Like, it was nothing. And then I used to set up, play my 2K right here. Used to sleep right here, wake up, you know, get shots up in the morning. I remember my friend used to be like, this nigga in the tortilla walls. <laughs> he'd be like, he's in the tortilla walls. I'm like, man, I'm grinding. What you talking about, boy? I'm grinding. I'm sure it on there, man. What we at? God dang. That's not cutting it. We gonna make it. <laughs> Cause I will ask you. Bro, we already know where we're going. You know where you're going. My question is this, man. What were you thinking? Like, what was your mindset the whole time going into that game? Because, you know, a lot of kids out there who literally went to their championship for the first time, nerves get to them. It could be anything, you know what I mean? Like, like what was the feelings? Like, what were you going through when you were in the locker room? Before you got to the locker room, like, you know what I'm saying? Walk us through it because, you know, of course, I always wanted to be in that type of position, but you know, things happen yeah. for a reason. But now, nah, going into the championship game, I mean, there's a lot going on. Like, before the game, I was, you know, because I know all those dudes. You know, I play uh, AAU team of being with them, so I knew all those dudes. So I knew it was going to be fun, you know, it was going to be real competitive, and dudes know me and stuff. Don't Diallo, Curtis Vikings, is in the building. They play Mount Zion. Everybody talk about Mount Zion, the best in the state right now. We'll see. So like going into that game, I hit up my guy P, because I know the coach knows a bit of me. I was like, hey, you think, what do you think, you know, they gonna do to me? And to be honest, you know, go out there and play your game. You know, you capable of taking over when you wanted to. So I just used that. Hey, we ain't shying away from this moment right here. Oh, hey, energy on three, one, two, three. Energy. After I stretched, I literally like laid on the floor and like tried to put myself in like a calm state, like not, not even to get nervous. So like that championship game, I did that and I was like, I was like really focused because I know championship game, high expectations. But I came in that game knowing that, you know, take over a bit. I 
I just had the mentality that I need to take over. And I think I did that just a little bit. So man, you did your thing, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. See you really take control because you're a player that know when to score and know when to dish.
take over you know I just had the mindset man I just had to take over so that's what I try to do at the end I'm walking around every time you score or pass the kids are screaming going to a Curtis game I see kids and I ask them who's your favorite player Zoom, Zoom. Yeah. and I'm just like man See you elevate and just do things in a way. Man, long live you know. She over here dancing right now, you know what I'm saying? Up in the heavens, like, my baby boy got a ring, you know what I mean? <laughs> the thing with us is we always threw the first punch. And then yeah, everybody was against us. And we just we told each other, you know, it's just us at the end of the day. I literally I manifest like a mother. Like, I swear, I said, New Year's resolution, 1-1-21st, get a basketball scholarship. And I said, inshallah, like, in God's will. Uh, five more months, I got my first O from Portland. And, like, from that day forward, I just started, you know, manifesting. New Year's resolution, be recognized one of the top point guards in the country. So, that's one of the things I'm doing right now, you know, making a bigger name for myself most definitely. Man, you not only, like, doing things to, you know what I'm saying, elevate me, myself, because yes, you play basketball, but it's not just basketball. You show leadership, you know what I'm saying? You have the uh, wisdom of the game, especially at a young age. You know what I'm saying? You manifest, you 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 work your work ethic. That goes beyond basketball, you know what I'm saying? You are actually showing people around the world. When you work hard, man, you already know what you get right after that. And so man, it's more than just basketball, man. It's a lifestyle. I see you doing this lifestyle, man. My name is Sindhu Diallo, and I'm Zoom's older brother. Uh, I originally started playing basketball, I would say, in the ninth grade is when I really started picking it up. I wasn't as, you know, skilled as all the other guys. I always got in, played my roles through the years, and then elevated myself into a jump shooter or a scorer at that point. Got my associates, and then got picked up by Montana Tech. And that's when basketball really started picking up for me. My first year, I got first team, all conference, Honorable mention, All-American. I got Newcomer of the Year, and I just really wanted to build off that. I would say that was a pretty good year for me, and it was important for me to stay focused. We were ranked 14th in the country. We won the Frontier Conference Championship, and we won the uh, regular season championship. You see who we here, hey, what you guys say to the camp? Hey, man. Gallo's up next, man. Stay tuned. But nah, I was just, I was just calling, checking up on you, bro. Oh nah, it's good, bro. What you, you the gym I'm about to. I'm going right now. I'm gonna go work out with Pete. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna get you right on that back work. You already know. I'm going back. Ever since my little brother was little. Like, I would always make sure that his focus was the gym. I'm the type of brother to never show Zoom a bad example. Him knowing that he has older brothers behind him and knowing that I'm an easy person to talk to, like, we got a lot of stuff to relate to, like, he can come to me for anything. And that's just the one thing I like about him. He's not shy. He's, he loves confrontation. He loves to get better. And anything he has to do to get better, he'll ask. He's not afraid. You know, my mom always tells me, God puts us in this world for a purpose. And the purpose is to find the true value of yourself. Our religion really teaches us how to really be peaceful with the people around us, live life through good moments, and never think about a bad time. Always just know God's by your side, 
and whatever you need, just know you can call to God and he'll answer your prayers. When, when Zoom One State, like it was an incredible feeling. Like I had butterflies go through my stomach because I was so happy for him knowing that he wanted that goal for so long. I've been dreaming about this since I was a little kid, man. It's crazy. I seen my brothers, man, lose semifinals, quarterfinals. And knowing that he accomplished it as a sophomore means like life is bright for him. He never, you know, was off course. He was always on track. He made sure his grades was right. He was never, you know, hanging out with females, you know. He has a purpose in life and he's trying to go to the league. And he showed it his sophomore year and it's just more for him to show. One, you gotta be brave. Cause you know, not a lot of people is willing to, you know, go by example, be the one that's first because everybody's watching you. So to be a leader, it means a lot. It's one of the big key, key pieces if you're forming a big unit. So like a team, you gotta, you know, be right, you can't really have too many flaws. I love being a leader because I like leading by example. I like being the one that, oh yeah, Zoom did this, so I gotta do this. You be knowing what you been working out on before you go there? Nah, it's, it's literally like, he, he knows, like, he watched my game. Hey, hey, my mom's calling me, I can't hang up on, I can't hang up on her. Hello? Oh, that's she the Philly. Yeah, that I tried. See, that's that French. Crazy. Uh, okay. I no, I don't know because there is a traffic. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, so, chill, 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 chill. That's you're nowhere chill. near Cindy right now, man. Oh, man. You're damn right I'm nowhere because I'm Zoom Diallo, oh, man. That's Curtis Jr. High, man. I see you, though. Bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be big brother. I'm going to be that, That's hating hey right there. It's not hating. Hey he ain't never gets a windmill in his life. <laughs> not even on nine foot. I'm just not Cindy. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is what we do, man. See, Back and forth, man. He's, hang, like, he's hanging on the balance. It's never hate, man. He's I just mad. don't want him to take he's credit. Mad. He's mad. Because he could playing. definitely do more. He's mad. Tell me right now, I was a million dollar move with a one cent finish. Most definitely. Oh, you can dribble the ball. You can dribble. I can dribble good. That's on the credit. I can. You want me to hype you? Yo, sixty something, bro. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Really? So, 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 could your sixteen year old self be me? Be honest. Yes. 100%. You are not sticking me, bro. I'm sorry. I am sorry. First of all, why don't you play me today? This is why I don't like to get in uh, battles with old heads. And then he turned to a coach. He went from a trainer to a coach. And I played on his AAU teams. So I've always been with him. He's always helped my game. He's like a big, big mentor to me. He, he, it's not only basketball we talk about. We talk about life. four times a week he had to make that drive to come out here to put in work as a coach and trainer you want kids who want to work you know what I mean half the struggle is getting kids to get to the gym focus I mean that dude was focused too focused he's crying about it right so that's when I knew I knew back then man that he was gonna be special because I've never seen that low and tight low and tight it's 10 one way and 10 the other. One minute on two, and then let's do one minute off on one alternating. All right, switch to alternating on one foot. Now alternate. Yep, yep. Quick. There we go. There we go. Good. Up, chop, down. Move your feet. Yeah. Just one, two. Yeah. 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 No, I want you to because I want you to. So you're doing it right, but I want you to come up 
as slow as you can. Drop quick, boom, boom. Gradually come up slow. Yeah. There you go. 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 So let's go. Tennis ball. Dribble. Double cross. Good. Good. So you gotta accelerate, snatch the tennis ball, dead leg. Uh, uh, one dribble, go. Uh, uh, one dribble, go. There you go. So when, when a dude's guarding you square, right, and you're trying to like break him to get him to give you a high foot, right, it's always good to try to just be able to attack but stay in one spot. You know what I mean? So on this one right here, you're coming down here, uh, uh, attack him, cross it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. You know what I mean? You got me here. Boom. Jumper. Boom. Go. Stop. Go. Well, a, a little longer pause. You're pausing because you can read. You're pausing after you attack. Is it the pause after? So I'm going here. Am I pausing or I'm doing my between pause? Between pause. That's, that's, that's what gets him. Stop. Put hands. You got me. Uh, stop. Go. Push it out. Yes. Like that. Jamal Crawford camp, God, that stuff was fun. Um, all the dudes from around the area, basically the best of the best around the town. I was just trying to, you know, make a name for myself, basically, you know. Fun experience, I really enjoyed it. Now we gotta somehow translate that to we're playing. You know, Jamal Crawford's always hooping. So uh, he'll come down to Tacoma because him and IT are close and they'll come and go runs and I he always inspired me because the one thing about him is he'll always come back. Always come back, give back to the community. It's amazing because here we don't have an NBA team, so him coming down all the way from where he is and coming to help us out. He'll do like giveaways and stuff. So that's one thing. As I want it, when I get older, that's something I want to do for sure. This this uh, team camp changed my life. I was say these are hard. I was trying to do track was to get faster. I love state champs, you know, protein in there, real exclusive. But now in the NBA, they need the main way the basket. I swear they're gonna make a clip of this, I swear. Yeah, Zoom son nom c'est pas du mal à dire l'autre bad. Malachi got drafted. Malachi's winning here. Malachi's winning here. 